we've got a new Emo's haul. Welcome back to my channel or if you're new here my name is Lizzie and I am a Disney plush collector So happy Saturday. I know I don't usually upload on a Saturday But I have a very exciting Hong Kong Disneyland plush haul to show you So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the plush haul and then I'm going to review the service Because I had a really great experience and I know a lot of people ask me Do I use any pickup services and I never used to but I figured that because I have and I had a good experience, I would recommend this one to you. So it is from Fellow Shop HK. I will leave their Instagram linked down below and then their shop is in the description. They do all of the Asian parks and these particular plushes were picked up from Hong Kong Disneyland. Now I am wearing my new Disney Dog Spirit jersey. This isn't a hint at what's in here as actually it's all Disney cats. But I just really wanted to wear my new Spirit jersey that my parents got me for my birthday, which is a spoiler for Tuesday's video as I haven't actually shown you what I got for my birthday yet. So I'm just going to open up the box so we can start the Disney plush haul. So this is what's inside the box. The first thing we see is a Hong Kong Disneyland bag. If Hong Kong operate the same way Tokyo do, you always get a spare bag like this. They will package your items in a bag and then give you a fresh bag to give as a gift, which I think is a really nice touch. Because personally, I don't like giving someone a worn bag when I get them a present from the parks or something. I like to make sure that the bag is pristine and the handles haven't pulled or anything. I'm just really particular. So this is one of the 15th anniversary bags which I really love. I've already told my mum she can have it. On this side it's got their new castle and you've got Mickey and Minnie in their outfits and Goofy, Donald, Daisy and Pluto and I absolutely love it but it is going to mom probably as a bit of inspiration as Hong Kong is on our to-do list. So the first plushes I'm going to show you are of course Disney New Emos. I am absolutely obsessed with them. If you haven't seen my What Are Disney New Emos video, I will leave a card up above to that. But a few people have messaged me saying that they would like to see more New Emos content on this channel. So when I buy New Emos now, they are going to get a separate video as opposed to showing them in my favourites at the end of the month. So they all came in little bags, which I really liked. I will discuss packaging in the like review portion of this video, but I just wanted to show you how they arrived before I showed them to you. So I'm just going to get them out of the bags. So first we've got the Marie New Emos. As you guys know, the Aristocats is in my top three Disney movies. So I had to get these because we just don't know when Shop Disney UK will get them. We have most recently got the Winnie the Pooh new emos which I will be showing you next week. So she is sat down. I don't think she stands very well. So what I'm going to do is just sit her on my shelf and her front paws are magnetic which I really really love. I love that some of them have magnets because you can make them all hold hands in a line which is adorable. So this is Marie, she's absolutely adorable and notice they have a different tag in Hong Kong Disneyland. So as you can see on the back it does say Hong Kong Disneyland and it was 109 Hong Kong dollars. I will get on to how much they cost me later on in the video but I just wanted to like showcase that they have a different tag because this is the tag we get here in the UK so they are very different. I'm going to be biased and say I prefer this minimal effect because this is a bit too flashy for me and it's very hard to get it to show up on camera properly so I really like these ones but they are all coming off. As you guys know I take the tags off my plushes that aren't limited edition so I hope that didn't trigger anybody. So the first one I got was Marie. And then you can probably guess the other two, I got Toulouse. So I really, really love Toulouse and Berlioz. I don't think they do enough merchandise of them. He's got his little blue bow and again he's sat down with his magnetic arms and he was 109 Hong Kong dollars again. And then finally I got Berlioz which is actually my favourite. I'm not actually a cat person, as you guys know I'm a dog person, but I really love the Aristocats. And Berlioz has always been my favourite because I'm not really a fan of ginger cats. I prefer black cats and grey cats. And he's got his little red bow as well and again he was $109. I don't actually know the conversion rate of that, 
but I will tell you how much they cost me in a moment. So those are all of the Aristocats new emails that they sell. I'm hoping that they will bring out Duchess and Thomas O'Malley, but they probably won't. But I'm really happy with these three for now. And then the final item also came in a bag, and you can guess what it is quite easily. So this is the Cheshire Cat Big Feet plush. I will get on to how much he cost in a moment, but he was an absolute bargain. Again, he's from Hong Kong Disneyland and he was 169 Hong Kong dollars. And he's just adorable. I'm going to put him in my Alice in Wonderland collection in my office. And I'm so glad I managed to get him because I didn't even see him in the parks, but I've seen him in the character warehouse on clearance. So I just knew that if I didn't get him, I would miss out. So that is another Big Feet plush from my collection. When I have quite a few, I will bring you guys a Big Feet collection. And then finally in the box, there is a thank you note. So I really like that they put in a thank you note. And of course, I will give them a review. And this video is a review as well. So let's get on to the service. So I wasn't even expecting to be able to do this video in April because I only ordered in March. I ordered these items on the 25th of March. The new emos were $16 each because they work in dollars on their website. I was just going to buy those three and then when I went to the checkout there are like add-on products that are reduced and the Cheshire Cat was only $5 which is why I got him. I can't believe he only cost $5. That's like three pounds. 50 or something over here that's ridiculous and then I chose 14 to 21 day airmail as my shipping option which cost $13 and then I paid via PayPal I always do that anyway for protection because if you ever have a problem you can get your money back through PayPal I wasn't expecting to it's just a habit that I have and that converted to around 50 pounds they always post on their Instagram stories when they've done pickups so I saw this story that showed me that my items had been picked up because I could see Marie and then I posted it on my Instagram stories as like a little tease out for you guys and I had a few people asking if I would recommend the service and then I checked my emails and the email that you use to sign up they will email you a picture of your pickup so you know that they've got it it's all correct and it's in pristine condition so I really really like that I've never had a pickup do that for me before and then they of course let you know when it's shipped with the tracking so it got shipped the same week I think because they have different lead times for the different parks Tokyo Disney Resort takes longer but Hong Kong Disneyland is really quick so it shipped quite quickly and I was like oh, okay so in two to three weeks I'll get this it arrived on the 6th of April guys that is literally less than two weeks after I ordered. It's absolutely incredible. I mean, obviously, once an item has left a seller, the posting and the shipping is out of their hands. So it won't always be this quick. It could be slower. It could be even slower than they've said, and it wouldn't be their fault. But I was really happy with how quickly it came, and it helped because of how quickly it was picked up but their website does warn you how long it takes to do certain pickups. I actually took a video of the package when it arrived. As you could see from the thumbnail and the beginning of this video, it was in a box, but they'd also put that box inside of a bag, which meant that it was really well protected from the elements and the plushes inside were also in their own little bags, which I loved. But even that was amazing because to only pay $13 for a box that size, if I was buying that from a America, you're looking at about $30 shipping so even the shipping was a really reasonable price obviously it depends on what option you choose and where in the world you live but I had no issues with their shipping prices so I have put another order in I have pre-ordered the it's a small world popcorn bucket from Tokyo Disney it comes out in June and obviously they have a longer lead time for Tokyo Disney items I assume it's because they're based in Hong Kong and they have someone that goes to Tokyo and then posts it to them which is why it takes up to two weeks but I really wanted the It's a Small World popcorn bucket so that will be with me probably July August time I also want to put in more new emos orders I had my eye on Max 
Hicks and Goofy and also Judy Hopps and Nick Wilde so I might buy those as well. So that was my Hong Kong Disneyland New Emos haul. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please give it a big thumbs up if you did and I hope that that review of the pickup service will help some of you as I get a lot of messages about what pickup services I would recommend. I do use one for Disneyland Paris but obviously it's closed so I will have to do a video on that at some point. I don't use one for Walt Disney World and I don't even know one I can use for Disneyland but I have used one for Character Warehouse so when that arrives I will be doing a little haul and review for you guys. As always thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed it please give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below which new email was your favourite and I will be back on Tuesday for my what I got for my birthday video. Just remember you haven't seen this spirit jersey yet. Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you on Tuesday. Bye!